Epiretinal membrane or macular pucker is the development of scar tissue over the central retina or macula. Retina is uh, tissue that lines the inside of the back wall of the eye. That's what we see it with, it's like the film in a camera. The central portion of the retina is called macula. That's where our central and best vision is. When the vitreous gel separates from the retina, sometimes a little bit of material is left behind on the surface of the retina that can behave a bit like shrink wrap. That scar tissue forms and then it'll contract and it can wrinkle the retina up. So sometimes we, we call it a, a pucker. People in their 60s and above, at least 5% of them will have epiretinal membranes. Now, most of those don't become clinically relevant. It grows in some people's eyes. Usually it's nothing that that person did or didn't do, it's just bad luck. And that can lead to various symptoms such as just being hazy, uh, but also can have distortion or waviness to the vision. Usually we can monitor these at first if the symptoms are mild. Depending on the severity and the level of uh, symptoms that you have, the epiretinal membrane or macular pucker could be removed surgically. Here at the Wolf Clinic, we specialize in using uh, the smallest instruments possible to perform a vitrectomy, where we go in through the white part of the eye with tiny little instruments. Remove the gel that fills the inside of the eye and literally peel that film off the surface of the retina. We let the patient's retina heal over time, and uh, view, vision usually stabilizes at that point and often improves depending on how long that membrane has been there. And it can be a great operation for people who need it.